Keep it simple. That is the mantra for the executive chef of Avoce right here in New York City, just across the park behind us. Missy Robin's specialty is giving classic Italian dishes a contemporary twist, and it's, as you're about to see, that simplicity is the key here. She's our chef on a shoestring this morning, so we challenged her to prepare, of course, a quick, easy Italian meal on our budget of just $35. We'll see whether or not she can succeed. Good to have That's you with she. us this morning. Thanks for having me. You're very busy these days, because as we mentioned, you're at Avoce, which just opened. A little bit. Uh, but you've got another Avoce downtown, so you're back and forth running two back kitchens. Back and forth between two kitchens. But yeah, you found the, t found the time to create a great menu for us this morning. What are we dining on? Today we have a baked ricotta, um, simple ricotta cheese with herbs, olive oil. It goes in the and it's hot and it gets served with crostini. Okay. Followed by spaghetti carbonara, Italian classic, one of my so favorites, good. and a great breakfast dish for this hour of the morning. Breakfast dish, absolutely. And followed by uh, coffee granita with whipped mascarpone cheese. I'm in. I'm in for all Fantastic. of it. Fantastic. So as we, we start? Let's start off. So we start off great. with the uh, the baked ricotta crostini, and I was learning this is actually not a cheese. It's, it's a byproduct of making cheese. Okay. So it's sort of the curds separate from the whey and you end up with this ricotta, yumminess. this very rich ricotta milky creamy sensation and to make this you drain you drain the ricotta overnight you've got you it, drain in the it overnight here. so that it gets all of the excess liquid so that when it goes in the oven it doesn't spread okay. and it stays in a nice tight mound so what we do is you just take it it's been drained you want to just mash it together a little so oh, yeah, it's it is a lot more sponge like yeah it? so it sticks together and you just make a big and ball like this yeah you make a big ball okay take your spoon Right on there, like that. And this is a little bit, is this just a little and bit of wax paper with some this butter This is on just it? a little olive oil. Olive oil, okay. Olive oil, very light, sort of healthy. Um, it's totally good for you, come on. this is just a little sea salt. Okay. On top. And some black pepper. All right. And oh. extra virgin olive oil, sorry about that. So drizzle, so a little bit just underneath a little, and a little bit a little on top. Bit on top. And then it just goes into a hot oven, 450, 500, depending on how your oven works, but okay. a nice hot oven because it'll set it very quickly without it spreading too much. So we put goes, it in and then after- It goes in the uh, oven and this one has baked for about 10 minutes. Oh, okay, so this is and really quick. And you want to get a little color on it, get a little, a little um, we can tell it's been baking a little bit. And um, serve it warm to your guests. And then we put it on top of we put it on top a little on crostini, a plate. which you've made. Yep. It looks like crostini. it's almost like an egg white. <laughs> but a lot tastier. Okay. And then it just gets seasoned with some chili flakes. Yeah. That's a nice little bit of some color too. Torn mint leaves. Ooh, a little bit of mint. Then you've got some arugula here too. Do we just put this some right on Yep, top? absolutely. Go Nice for it. peppery and some arugula. Thyme. One of my favorites. And then more olive oil. And then we're Everything's ready to go. Everything's better with a little olive oil. I like the way And you this think. is great for a party. Serve it in a big mound for a big group. It's and fantastic. And people can sort of dip in. So I'm going to yeah. give this a try. Go well, you start it. us on All right. the spaghetti carbonara. Right. You're, um, you're sweating the, uh, or rendering yeah, rather, the pancetta. Yeah, we're rendering out the pancetta. Pancetta is just uh, pork belly that's been cured. Okay. Italian, not smoked Ooh. like American bacon. Render it out. You want it to get a little bit crispy. Mm. And in it's the really meantime, tasty. we've been cooking our pasta. Um, in a bowl, we're gonna put, this is a really, really easy pasta. It we love easy. It requires a bowl and a few ingredients. I can and do that. And pancetta, that's it. So we put our egg yolks in. Okay, this is just the yolk. And these are just still raw, the yolk. obviously. They're still raw, but the warmth of the pasta is we'll gonna cook it. cook it. So you don't have to worry about health issues, anything. Perfect. Um, it just makes it rich and creamy. Parmesan cheese. We have cheese. Parmesan, we have pecorino. Okay. Um, and a lot, only a lot got about of, a minute left, so I'm going to okay, move a lot of a black bit. pepper here. Sorry, there you go. Um, pancetta goes right into the bowl. Okay, and then you mix all all three, I guess four, with the two different cheeses together. Yep. And then we take our pasta out here, and it goes in. And you want to get a little of that pasta water. That's going to help thicken from the starch. Okay. Um, thicken this then, mixture of the egg and, and the cheese. And then you just mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. This is easy. It's really easy but it's really important that you have the right proportions of the egg and the, the cheese. cheese. And, and then we go right into a bowl. Perfect. And as you put that into a bowl, I'm gonna grab my fork to try because it's very important to have a taste test awesome. here. And then real quickly, just tell us, um, we've only got about 30 seconds, okay. but the coffee the gr granita, how Coffee do you... granita, so easy. You brew coffee or take your leftover morning coffee. Stealing the spoon. Add it to simple syrup. 
yep. um, which is just sugar and, sugar water. and water. And then we um, say something about a taste you end test. up with yeah. this. You something freeze it in a shallow pan. As it's freezing, you keep scraping it. And you mm. scrape it and scrape it, and you get like an Italian I'll take a ice. fork. You guys take a knife. Um, and, yeah, <laughs> and it's great. So you sort of have a whole breakfast here, and actually. It looks really neat, too. And I, yeah, the coffee is perfect for breakfast. So let's see how you did. Of course, the budget is $35. Spoon. I hope I did. The right. grand total. No. I can't see the screen because of the sunlight, to be honest. Thirty-four oh seven. So let's see. Is that, does that put you on the top three? Uh oh. You're not on the board, but you know what? <laughs> right. it says well, I think you were robbed. The food, the food, the food good, is though, fantastic. So that's all that matters, this right? is great. At the end of the day, it really is. Missy Robbins, thanks so much for being with us.